This is Jim with A1 Repairs. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. The point of the following video is to provide you an up close view of the products that we sell as if you were heading into our local hometown dealership to purchase one. With everybody shopping online, this is our attempt to bring you closer to the product rather than just viewing words on a web page. Please be sure to email or call with any questions that you may have and also like us on Facebook for the latest product and industry updates. Thanks and enjoy the video. Thanks for tuning in to the A1 Repairs YouTube channel. Today we're going to feature the 555 Husqvarna XP Auto Tune Chainsaw. Before I start uh, diving into walking you around the saw, we're going to go over some stats really quick. Uh, this saw in the Husqvarna catalog is spec'd out for a 14 to a 20 inch bar. Uh, typically you're going to run an 18 or a 20 on this. You don't want to go any bigger than 20. You're going to start stressing the saw out. 14 is probably too small for it. Uh, 16 would run pretty good, you know, be a real fast, uh, real powerful chainsaw for you, but typically you're doing an 18 to a uh, 20 inch bar on there. Now, uh, these particular chainsaws are running what I like to call a medium bar mount from Husqvarna. And uh, from the factory, they come with a 3 8 inch uh, drive on them, so it's going to drive a 3 8 inch chain for you. And you can do that with uh, any different width that you want on here. Uh, the, uh, the drive on the actual chainsaw is capable of handling 0.050 or 0.058, uh, but the bars, you will have to make sure you get the right bar for whatever width that you're going to be running. So. Uh, one of the advanced features about the 555 chainsaw, uh, it's got an X-Torque engine, but this is featuring the Auto-Tune from Husqvarna. And it's just a really neat technology. It's a digital carburetor that's put on this chainsaw. And uh, what it does is when you're cutting with it, it's adjusting your high and your low speed jets constantly. And that's based on temperature, altitude, how clogged your air filter's getting. Uh, it's really neat because basically it keeps your saw running at max performance all the time. Uh, a lot of people tell me, why do I want electronics on my chainsaw? It's just another thing to go wrong. And my challenge question I have to everybody that does that is, when I hop in my car and I go to turn the key and start, that digital fuel injection just kicks over in the onboard computer and just, you just drive away and you don't have a worry in the world. You know, why wouldn't you want your chainsaw to do the same thing? You know, I, I, I don't know a friend that's even had to you know, replace an onboard computer on, on their car. So, you know, technology is really taking it in advance and it's the way the industry is going to be going. Us as dealers, we have actual cords we can plug into these and for lack of a better reason, get like fault codes off them for what's going wrong, uh, how many hours you've ran it, uh, what temperature it's running at, what temperature you burned it up because you forgot to put oil into it. So. Uh, it's the way the industry is going and it, it really is a unique technology. It, it's very cool and it's, it, it's going to be the way everything's moving. So we're going to jump into a, a couple features here. We're going to go for uh, the starting features that are on here. Um, on the rear of the saw, it's got one switch that does everything here for you. Press and hold and it's on the kill position. Immediately returns back to the run. That way when you go to restart the saw uh, and you're not, you know, didn't forget that you left it in the off position, it's automatically back on run for you. Uh, pull out and up will lock that saw and choke for you. And then bring it back down to the middle, that's a run position, bottoms kill. There is a decompression release, the button on the top of the chainsaw, you press that in hot or cold, makes it much easier to pull the rope, kick that guy over. There's also a purge primer on the 555 chainsaw to push all the air bubbles out of the fuel line to get the carburetor all set and ready to go. So as far as the other features for fuel, you get a visual see-through gas indicator uh, gauge in the back and then uh, your gas and your oil caps on these. They are complete with a tether, which is really nice to hold them on. And if you ever want to run your saw dry, you know, drain the gas out of the tank, those pop out pretty easy for you. So, same thing with the oil cap in the front. The 555 does have an adjustable oiler. You will see that in the bottom hole right there. Uh, there's indicator gauge for positive and negative. You know, based on if you're cutting in zero degree all the way up to 80 or 100 degree, you can adjust that and run regular bar oil, low temp bar oil, and you can make sure that it's lubricating properly so you're not heating anything up. So I uh, saw so it's got a pretty nice aggressive bucking spike on the front right there. We're going to dive into the clutch cover, the side cover here. Open this up. One of the features on the cover that I like 
you'll see it right there because I can't get those bar nuts to fall off of there. The bar nuts are actually integrated onto there, uh, which is really nice. You know, I've been cutting before where you know, one of them came loose or I didn't tighten it up all the way. And, you know, by the time you see those things rattling, I mean, they're just zoosh, and they go flying right off of there. So, uh, really great technology that Husqvarna put on there. Um, this one has an outward clutch or, or, or an outboard clutch on it. Uh, some of them you can get them where they got inboard clutches or the clutch is going to be reversed on the inside. Uh, the positives and negatives to both. The outside ones tend to balance the saw a little bit better. The inside ones make it much easier to slip the chain on. So uh, it's, it's just different depending on the chainsaws. So that's going to be the side clutch cover right there. Husqvarna runs isolation dampening springs on all of their chainsaws. You can see one right there pretty easy. What's nice about that is it isolates the engine from the handles. And you can see right here how I can push that engine drastically in one direction, but the handlebars are staying stationary. That does a lot for reducing operator fatigue or how fuzzy your hands are feeling or, or all the wear that you're going to get up here, especially after a couple hours worth of use. I got a nice big black felling line on the top right here for lining your trees up or making sure you got good cuts with you know lining them up and objects out in the field and that. So one of the things that Husqvarna uh, did with this particular saw is it's on the new chassis. It's a little bit longer and slender. Um, it's a little bit on the narrower side. Uh, these saws are much more balanced better. They have less gyro force where the saw likes to climb on you. Um, very comfortable, the wrapped handles, they fit very well into your hands. You know, and then there's all different type of features. You can get heated handles, you can get even uh, a wrapped handle where there's a handle that comes through off onto the other side. So they're all features that can be added to the chainsaw or purchased that way. Uh, one other thing about the, this chainsaw is typical chainsaw, you had a piston which is straight up and down or crooked back just a little bit. Um, as, as soon as we pull a clutch or pull the uh, air filter cover off, you're going to notice this. This particular chainsaw is really drastically tilted backwards with the piston, and that does a lot for better balance and, and reduced fatigue on the operator. This has got a quick snap air filter cover on it. So you take your chainsaw tool. Pop all three of the clips off of there, push the brake forward, remove that, and here's a real good picture of how I told you that the uh, piston of the jug is uh, tilted backwards on it. It's got a little snap right here, you can remove the uh, air filter nice and quickly. Husqvarna has a lot of two-piece filters where you can actually pop these open, clean the inside, which is really nice. And then there's your auto-tune carburetor right there. So I'm going to go ahead and put this guy back together. Uh, those are a bunch of quick features for the 555 chainsaw. Um, it's really good. It's not necessarily a beginner chainsaw. You're getting to intermediate to advanced, uh, but you can be used in a lot of different applications uh, from you know, home use all the way up to professional or even under the tree care industry. So. Thanks for tuning into the uh, A1 Repair uh, YouTube video of the uh, 555 Husqvarna chainsaw.